okay so guys it's very important to take uh, this profession very serious and the earlier the especially the kenyan government took the nursing profession very serious we're going to have a very big challenge in matters regarding uh, uh, the nursing care or nursing profession and nursing practice here in kenya because they don't take a lot of regard to this kind of, this uh, profession i don't know about your country how you regard this is actually our guava tree yeah here it's on the way here so that is uh that's our, our guava there very natural it's uh, i think it's maturing this other side here so that we can have a, a, a uh, take, take them so uh, our famous uh, skuma is here as you can see yeah, that's what you take for vegetables here in africa so guys uh, it's very important to always uh, regard this profession in a very positive way because uh, as also nurses we have our uh, people have their own needs as professionals they have their needs because uh, uh, because of uh, because of the the needs they have and also what they need to accomplish as a person because people go to school to accomplish something in life and when that one th that one thing gets uh, gets challenged or gets uh, formed on the way you get that one does can't get into what is really expected to do okay so guys it's very important to take uh, this profession very serious and the earlier the especially the kenyan government took the nursing profession very serious we're going to have a very big challenge in matters regarding uh, uh, the nursing care or nursing profession and nursing practice here in kenya because they don't take a lot of regard to this kind of, these are profession i don't know about your country how you regard this is actually our guava tree yeah here it's on the way here so that is uh, that's our, our go over there. Very natural. It's uh, I think it's maturing this other side here, so that we can have a, a, a uh, take take them. So uh, our famous uh, skuma is here, as you can see. Yeah, that's what you take for vegetables here in Africa. So guys, uh, it's very important to always uh, regard this profession in a very positive way. Because uh, as also nurses, we have our uh, people have their own needs as professionals. They have their needs because uh, uh, because of uh, because of the the needs they have and also what they need to accomplish as a person. Because people go to school to accomplish something in life, and when that one th that one thing gets uh, gets challenged or gets uh, formed on the way. You get that so one does can't get into what is really expected to do good evening guys welcome to our video today actually the time is uh, that time there uh, so you can see that is uh, 3 37 p.m here in africa so it's very bright as you can see from my sunglasses there it's very bright here in africa as you can have a look from my sunglasses i can see it's very bright actually i'm doing this video from an africa african village so i'm going to talk as we going to see so uh actually this is how we hang our clothes here in africa it's very sunny and bright as you can see uh, the sun is the other side there so you can have a look yeah that side yeah so that's how we hang our clothes here we normally uh, we don't have a washing machine here so this is how we hang that like this one has really dried so this is how we hang our clothes here uh, uh, these are beautiful flowers this other side here as you can ever see so these are special also here in the village special leaves here in the village sometimes we use, use them as a toilet tissue here in africa i'll tell you or from my previous videos i showed you on what we do about them 
So normally I like sharing about African village videos and what really happens. Normally there are rough videos from the village. And that is what we, we always show you. These are beautiful flowers here. Uh, oh, these are ornamental flowers. We also have this here. So you can have a look. We have this, my gooseberries here. Here. So you can have a look. And also I wanted to show you something here. Uh, these are sugar cane here. Sugar cane. Sugar cane, sugar cane, sugar cane. You can have a look there. Yeah. Very, very, very. Uh, actually, we cut this. We ate this one. So, it's very mature and a very sweet uh, kind of uh, sugar cane there. I don't know how you call it in your own language. But these are beautiful ornamental flowers this side. So, you can have a look. I want you to get a glimpse of that same. Uh, beautiful flowers here. Yes, you can have a look. These are special vegetables here. Local. Uh, we call in my language you call them mwemboka. I don't know how you call them. Very high in uh, <coughs> very high in iron and also very nutritious also for boosting your vitamin C, boosting your immunity and other other others. These are an, these are additional flowers here as you can see. Yeah here. You can have a look. So uh, our trees here, ornamental trees here. I don't know how you call them also. You can have a look here. Here and also we have this other one here, so you can have a look uh, there. So uh, the time is in the afternoon. It's actually very, very bright. So you can you can see from the other side there. So actually that's how uh, we that's a, that's a, a fence here. Uh, actually we get some good here and also make some fence to the other the other side. So the sun is to the other side there. Uh, it's really bright. I'm really enjoying it here. Yeah. It's January and uh, Sometimes it can get very hot, but uh, that's what we have here for for ourselves So I want to share something about uh, As you can see I'm on a stethoscope. This is a stethoscope uh, Stethoscope is what uh, we use we use to those who know what we use in the hospital was ascultate, ascultate the patients. So this is what you have. It's a very essential tool for for those who work in the hospital, also the nurses, and also especially the the ICU or emergency nurses, and also the doctors who work in various departments in a, an hospital setting. So guys, I want to share something about uh, the nursing profession. Uh, here in Africa, like from last year, we had people applying for a green card to go for, we call the other, the other part of the world, the greener pastures. So many people have applied to go to the United, United States of America, especially. Uh, that's when they had the green card, uh, uh, they call it green card uh, lottery. So people have applied over for the same so that they can if one succeeds one can take uh, some time and also go to the u.s and also work there and get some money so uh like i told you i'm from africa so uh i'm told most of the nurses we get to work in the like in the u.s like in the britain i also had some colleagues from kenya who went to, to britain to go and work there we have some in canada who are working there so uh, we after training we get that most of the nurses from kenya especially they go to the other side of the world to go and find our venture and also practice from from the other from the other end uh does it mean really uh the kind of or in africa or in kenya we don't want such kind of nurses and i'm told they do a very good job when they go to the other side of the world so uh and really, really they do a good job when they, it comes to pro professionalism and also uh doing what they what they're supposed to do i don't know how you how the nursing profession is taken in your country but here in kenya you get that uh, why most of our people go for such kind of ventures is because uh, of the the kind of working environment we have here in, uh, in, uh, in Africa, especially from 
from the tra from uh, from the training you get that someone is very passionate to practice over the same but when it comes to the practice and everything you get that somebody like employment employment nowadays empl employment is very is a great challenge here in africa let me check out uh, yeah so a beautiful flower there a tree there on a major tree taking care of the beauty in the compound so you can have a look so you get that uh, uh, actually it, it becomes a, a very not a very interesting you get that someone is looking for a job and uh, our hospitals most of them they are highly populated but the patient uh, ratio to the patient the patient uh, nurse ratio is very normally not very conducive so someone finds it very difficult to work in a, such kind of an environment so he hopes or she hopes to go for for training actually long time ago it's only ladies who used to do the nursing profession but nowadays we get like half men and half you get in a class you get that half are male and also the other half are, are female so either gender is represented in this profession especially what i see in kenya i don't know about your country maybe you can share down in the the in the in the, in the comments so that we get to understand really what uh, what is happening in your country as much as the nursing profession is concerned so because of the working condition also the enumeration for those kind of the, for our nurses so you get that they take uh, that option of going abroad so that uh, actually people go to school so that they can help yes patients that's one part of it and also they need to empower themselves uh, uh, financially so that they there are people who, they who depend on on them so that they can take care of their their, need, their needs and also take the needs of others who really depend on them especially the parents and also the siblings who who, who highly de, uh, depend on them so in africa you get that even a nurse there's a common name way they call the, the the people can call you especially those who are not into this field you can be called dactari dactari uh, actually in english is mean it means doctor so some of these things people don't uh, differentiate them they call you doctor that's uh, an african insinuation over the same because they believe you know a lot about their healthy things and also maybe you are so much ed educated and also you take care of their lives uh, in a, at any at any time so as a society here in africa really expects a lot from such kind of uh, a nurse who who has uh, who is working maybe somewhere but uh, i can tell you the working conditions which nurses go through here in africa especially in kenya is never interesting you have to bribe maybe if you want to get to government uh, employment most of uh, the time you get that you need you are told to uh, give a bribe so that you can get employed that's why you get many people and uh, from the numbers especially from here in Kisi, you get that very many of them, they get they opt to go, especially to America, so that they can venture their, their profession there. Because the systems here really don't work, uh, work for them. But that doesn't mean, like I said, that uh, here in Kenya, the healthcare is up to the perfection so people go to other places who which need uh, need, need, need uh, their services but it's because uh you get that uh, the the terms of working the, ter the terms of employment is really not very interesting uh here in uh, africa especially uh this is a very great vegetable here as you can see in my language it's called in the rema so normally we pick like this and uh, it's very high those are the leaves here as you can see so we mix with other vegetables very high it's very, it's good for boosting your hb the hemoglobin level the levels of your blood and also it boosts also your immunity that is the drama for 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 us that's a small solar there we have like sometimes we have a challenge with the uh, kenya power so that is what we use for electricity. I have some small solar there, which uh, projects light 
for, for us to use when we don't have a provision over, over the same. It's a good one. It normally lights during the day, the night. So it charges during the, the day and also we use it during during the night. So guys, so, so such are the conditions here in Africa. So sometimes not very interesting, but that is it, it is what it is, guys. Uh, kindly, guys, for those who have not subscribed to our channel, I really encourage you to subscribe to to this channel. And also, uh, if you have any support which you need to share with us, we have our description there so that we make uh, we bring you more and more 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 videos as needed. I really like to thank those who have given us feedback on the kind of videos which are needed. Uh, so we want to really appreciate whatever support through the comments which you have given. And if you think there is something which we need to improve on, and also if you have any support, as I said, uh, the, the, the details are in the, in the description of the channel so that you get to support us. So guys, I want to say... Uh, this is our natural kind of offense here. So normally we lean down like that and then check that way. So uh, yeah. So guys, that kind of uh, experience. So that is the one which takes our people, most of our people, the other side of the world, so that they get to because you need to their their needs or their wants which. And it, and it needs to be met so that we take you to take uh, to, to another level of our lives good evening guys welcome to our video today actually the time is uh, that time there uh, so you can see that is uh, 3 37 p.m here in africa so it's very bright as you can see from my sunglasses there it's very bright here in africa as you can have a look from my sunglasses i can see it's very bright actually i'm doing this video from an africa african village so i'm going to talk as we going to see so uh actually this is how we hang our clothes here in africa it's very sunny and bright as you can see uh, the sun is the other side there so you can have a look yeah that side yeah so that's how we hang our clothes here we normally uh, we don't have a washing machine here so this is how we hang that like this one has really dried so this is how we hang our clothes here uh, uh, these are beautiful flowers this other side here as you can ever see so these are special also here in the village special leaves here in the village sometimes we use, use them as a toilet tissue here in africa i'll tell you or from my previous videos i showed you on what we do about them so normally i like sharing about african village videos and what really happens normally there are rough videos from the village that is what we, we always show you these are beautiful flowers here. Uh, for these are ornamental flowers. We also have this here, so you can have a look. We have this my gooseberries here, here, so you can have a look. And also, I wanted to show you something here. Uh, these are sugar cane here, sugar cane, sugar cane, sugar cane, sugar cane. And you can have a look there. Yeah, very, very, very. Uh, actually, we cut this. We ate this one. So very mature and a very sweet uh, kind of uh, sugar cane there. I don't know how you call it in your own language, but these are beautiful ornamental flowers this side. So you can have a look. I want to see you to get a glimpse of that same uh, beautiful flowers here. Yes, you can have a look. These are special vegetables here, local. Uh, we call, in my language, you call them wemboka. I don't know how you call them. Very high in, uh, <coughs> very high in iron. And also very nutritious also for boosting your vitamin C, boosting your immunity and other other others. These are, an, these are additional flowers here, as you can see. They are here. You can have a look. So uh, our trees here, ornamental trees here. I don't know how you call them also. You can have a look here. 
here and also we have this other one here so you can have a look uh, there so at the time is in the afternoon it's actually very very bright so you can you can see from the other side there so actually that's how uh, we that's a, that's a, a fence here uh, actually we get some good here and also make some fence to the other the other side so the sun is to the other side there uh, it's really bright i'm really enjoying it here it's january and uh, sometimes it can get very hot but uh, that's what we have here for for ourselves so i want to share something about uh, as you can see i'm on a stethoscope this is a stethoscope uh, stethoscope is what uh, we use we use to those who know what we use in the hospital to ascultate ascultate the patients so this is what we have is a very essential tool for for those who work in the hospital also the nurses and also especially the, the ICU or emergency nurses and also the doctors who work in various departments in a, an hospital setting so guys i want to share something about uh, the nursing profession uh here in africa like from last year we had people applying for a green card to go for we call the other the other part of the world the greener pastures so many people have applied to go to the united, united states of america especially uh, that's when they had the green card uh, uh they call it green card uh, lottery so people have applied over for the same so that they can if one succeeds one can take uh, some time and also go to the u.s and also work there and get some money so uh like i told you i'm from africa so uh i'm told most of the nurses we get to work in the like in the u.s like in the britain i also had some colleagues from kenya who went to, to britain to go and work there we have some in canada who are working there so uh we after training we get that most of the nurses from kenya especially they go to the other side of the world to go and find our venture and also practice from from the other from the other end uh does it mean really uh the kind of or in africa or in kenya we don't want such kind of nurses and i'm told they do a very good job when they go to the other side of the world so uh and really, really they do a good job when they, it comes to pro professionalism and also uh doing what they what they're supposed to do i don't know how you how the nursing profession is taken in your country but here in kenya you get that uh, why most of our people go for such kind of ventures is because uh, of the the kind of uh, working environment we have here in uh, in, uh, in Africa, especially from from the tra from uh, from the training, you get that someone is very passionate to practice over the same. But when it comes to the practice and everything, you get that somebody like employment employment nowadays empl employment is very is a great challenge here in Africa. Let me check out. Uh, yeah so a beautiful flower there a tree there on a mental tree taking care of the beauty in the compound so you can have a look so you get that uh, uh actually it, it becomes a a very not a very interesting you get that someone is looking for a job and uh, our hospitals most of them they are highly populated but the patient uh, ratio to the patient the patient uh, nurse ratio is very normally not very conducive so someone finds it very difficult to work in a, such kind of an environment so he hopes or she hopes to go for for training actually long time ago it's only ladies who used to do the nursing profession but nowadays we get like half men and half you get in a class you get that half are male and also the other half are, are female so either gender is represented in this profession, especially what I see in Kenya. I don't know about your country. Maybe you can share down in the, the in the in the the comments so that we get to understand really what uh, what is happening in your country, as much as the 
nursing profession is concerned. So because of the working condition, also the enumeration for those kind of, the, for our nurses, so you get that they take uh, that option of going abroad so that uh, actually people go to school so that they can help yes, patients, that's one part of it. And also they need to empower themselves uh, uh, financially so that they, there are people who, they, who depend on, on them so that they can take care of their, their, need, their needs and also take the needs of others who really depend on them, especially the parents and also the siblings who, who, who highly de, uh, depend on them. So in Africa, you get that even a nurse, there's a common name where they call, the, the, the people can call you, especially those who are not into this field, you can be called Daktari. Daktari, uh, actually in English, is many, it means doctor. So some of these things, people don't uh, differentiate them. They call you doctor, that's uh, an African insinuation of the same, because they believe you know a lot about their healthy things, and also maybe you are so much ed educated, and also you take care of their lives uh, in a, at, any, at any time. So as a society here in Africa really expects a lot from such kind of uh, a nurse who, who, has, uh, who is working maybe somewhere. But... Uh, I can tell you the working conditions which nurses go through here in Africa, especially in Kenya, is never interesting. You have to bribe, maybe, if you want to get to government uh, employment, most of uh, the time you get that you need, you are told to uh, give a bribe so that you can get employed. That's why you get many people, and uh, from the numbers, especially from here in Kisi, you get that very many of them. They, get, they opt to go, especially to America, so that they can venture their, their profession there. Because the systems here really don't work, uh, work for them. But that doesn't mean, like I said, that uh, here in Kenya, the healthcare is up to the perfection. So people go to other places who which need, uh, need, need uh, their services. But it's because uh, you get that uh, the the terms of working, the, ter the terms of employment, is really not very interesting uh, here in uh, Africa, especially. Uh, this is a very great vegetable here, as you can see. In my language, it's called in the Rema. So normally we pick like this, and uh, it's very high. Those are the leaves here, as you can see. So we mix with other vegetables, very high. It's, it's good for boosting your HB, the hemoglobin level, the levels of your blood, and also it boosts also your immunity. That is the drama for, for, for us. That's a small solar there we have. Like sometimes we have a challenge with the Kenya power. So that is what we use for electricity. I have some small solar there, which uh, projects light for, for us to use when we don't have a provision over, over the same. It's a good one. It normally lights during the day, the night. So it charges during the, the day and also we use it during during the night. So guys, so, so such are the conditions here in Africa. So sometimes not very interesting, but that is, it, it is what it is, guys. Uh, kindly, guys, for those who have not <coughs> subscribed to our channel, I really encourage you to subscribe to to this channel. And also, uh, if you have any support which you need to share with us, we have our description there so that we make uh, we bring you more and more 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 videos as needed. I really like to thank those who have given us feedback on the kind of videos which are needed. Uh, so we want to really appreciate whatever support through the comments which you have given. And if you think there is something which we need to improve on, and also if you have any support, as I said, uh, the, the, the details are in the, in the description of the channel so that you get to support us. So guys, I want to say uh, this is our natural kind of offense here. So normally we lean down like that and the check that way so uh, yeah so guys such kind of uh, experience 
so that is the one which takes our people most of our people the other side of the world so that they get to because you need to there there needs or there are ones which needs to be met so that we take you to take uh, to, to another level of our lives so guys we need to embrace the activities or uh, the profession of uh, of nurses so actually this is uh, our vegetables here as you can see also very nutritious is an organic garden here this is what you call uh, spinach let me show you that is what you call spinach and we take it uh, most of the time very high very nutritious and especially when there's sun like this spinach really survives and also it supplements us with uh, uh, good uh, vegetables for our use here at home so our famous uh, wabba tree here as so you can have a look so guys uh, I want to, and this is also cabbage, so you can have a look. These are cabbage. Uh, so that's what also we take here in, uh, in, uh, in Africa. So uh, like I was saying, we need to embrace this profession of nursing on a serious note and also come out with policies which are workable to make this uh, profession work, especially uh, here in Kenya. Because there's no way our people can go out there do the best they get well paid and also life continues normally we need to work on something as a country because healthcare in a country which is well improved and to a certain level uh, it is very important for the the larger population so a nurse in kenya like uh, you are you've done basic nursing you can do you can work in a psychiatric uh, ward you can work in a in an ICU, you can work as a midwife and also do deliveries there. Uh, sometimes back, there's a good friend of mine who trained in the uh, uh, Philippines. He did uh, his BSN nursing in uh, in the Philippines. When he came, where I was, all, uh, some of our friends also were working there. So one day he told me uh, the, he, he was allocated in maternity wing. So he was alone there. Normally here in Africa, you get that uh, a nurse is allocated, one nurse is allocated to very many patients as much as also in maternity because uh, we don't have many nurses around. Most of the nurses have gone for greener pastures, but our, our government is not doing anything about it. It's a, it's a norm which comes every day, every time uh, to see nurses being trained. A lot of them go to a foreign country to go and work there. And uh, while our healthcare is in a, in a very debilitated uh, way, so he told me when he was in this maternity wing, so he he actually he the mother the mother wanted now to push uh, the mother was uh, fully dilated, so he wanted she wanted to push, so what the guy did he ran around the hospital to other departments to go and call uh, a gynecologist to come and uh, deliver. But uh, when he, he went to other places, other departments, he found the nurses, because nurses are the ones who are left in a shift 24 hours. So at that time it was as night, at night, there was no gynecologist, there was no doctor there. So, so he, when uh, he, call, he called for help from other department to get a gynecologist, he was told actually you are the one who is supposed to, to do the delivery. That really shocked him uh, because according to what he shared for, with me later is that uh, nurses in other countries don't do deliveries, they are done by, by specialists. But imagine in Kenya, uh, a nurse does very many procedures including uh, actually what a nurse cannot do uh, alone is uh, something like surgery, maybe you need someone to do to do the surgery but some of them are so exposed to the same that they can they can see when a doctor makes a mistake over the same especially the the surgeries and they can really collect correct over the same uh, that's how passionate the african nurse or the kenyan nurse can be so from that day the guy went home 
and learned on how to from the others he came exposed on how to do the deliveries and wow he was the best midwife after some after some time so that is our kenya uh, government for you and the nursing profession for you here in, in kenya but uh, we can't work it that way for a long time because the world the world is changing and also the who has guidelines which guide on how healthcare should be taken and especially on how nursing profession should be embraced as much as possible so uh, the Kenyan government needs to do something over the same and also as a nursing a nursing body for Kenya we need to uh, we have an uh, we have a, regula a regulator called nursing council in Kenya or N NCK which regulates the practice of nurses it is for it uh, normally focuses on uh, <coughs> it's more focused on uh, nursing practice how the nurse practices more than how the the nurse can be facilitated on how to work in a, or how the nurse can be facilitated to work well at the workplace and also get, get better remuneration at the, at the workplace so I know that we have our American nursing association we also have in Britain also we have a, we have the also the body for for, for nurses there uh, we need to embrace those uh, very great practices like what the American nursing organization is doing for nurses that's how we get mo most of the nurses go to the Amer to America and work there and get very good remuneration and they are they are their work is on on top on top notch and because they do a very good uh, a very good job for me this is my opinion and uh, uh, it, it, uh, it is high time, I feel, that the nursing profession should be taken seriously in Kenya and also be taken to another level so that the welfare of a nurse and also the skills which a nurse has, has, uh, has earned or come up with, they should also be equivalent to what that nurse earns or uh, gets because also that nurse has her welfare. Because nurses undergo a lot, you get stressed with the with the work in the workplace and as much as you are supposed to be ethical and professional and you know a nurse is also human so you get uh, sometimes these people get uh, into an extreme and also because of uh, get get burnout and also when something happens uh, you get, you hear that uh, uh, here in, in Kenya what they say how nurses how nurses how Yani, this, that means that those nurses, they call them those nurses when something wrong happens. But when something good is happening and a lot of good is happening, nobody gets to recognize that one. So it's high time we change our perspective, especially from African uh, perspective and also uh, so that we improve this profession because it means life for many and also uh, it, really, uh, it has really improved the life of many so that we impress those nurses and also get a better way of appreciating whatever those nurses are doing. So kindly guys, welcome to our video and also I want to welcome you to our next video. Welcome and thank you very much.